Whether you're looking to splurge at a Michelin starred restaurant or save on tasty street food, this food guide covers all budgets. Let's begin with $20 and below. Clinton Street Bakery, which is known for its unbelievable brunch and lunches. My insider tip here is that you must come early or if you're here on a weekend, you're gonna have to have a long wait. This one is the blueberry pancakes with warm maple butter. It has Maine blueberries, banana walnut, and chocolate chunk. These are very famous pancakes. They're fluffy. I can already tell that consistency is perfection. The blueberry syrup adds a really nice sweetness. Then, of course, many options for great sides here. They do great lunches here as well. This is their fried chicken sandwich, and this has lemon pepper mayo, shredded romaine, pickled green tomatoes on a Kaiser roll. Guys, all this is delicious. Don't miss the pancakes when you come here. Nothing I had here was bad, so you really can't lose. Los tacos numero uno. Luckily, they now have locations all over the city so you could go anywhere that's where Louie and I go more than any other restaurant and you know it's good if Louie likes it you may not trust my opinion of tacos but you can trust his I always get the pollo asado and the carne asada they never let me down it's always incredible it's a quick spot so this is a good price too if the first two spots look good to you then I recommend you join our best of New York food tour we'll bring you to these tasty delights but also to three other award-winning restaurants all within three hours it's a great way to save time and learn New York's food history while trying some of the best dishes in the city Doria seafood it looks questionable from the outside but this has the best seafood in the city and it's a truly an experience here's the thing about story seafood so they have all this fresh seafood that is shipped here daily and you literally choose your fish and then give it to them and they cook it and it's incredible and so cheap. The feast has arrived here at a store of seafood and I am so excited about it. You know, this is a no frills spot. This is a spot you don't come for presentation. You don't come here for service. You come here for the best seafood in the city. In fact, I was just talking to some people next to us. They came from Manhattan. They work in Manhattan. They're like, this is where it's at right here. Let's eat the salmon here. Perfectly grilled. Mm. Melt in your mouth. So buttery, so tender. Oh, so good. Do you hear the song? That's how I feel. It's so good. It's so delicious. Don't miss the story of seafood. It's the best. Mana Cafe is an amazing Ethiopian restaurant here in Brooklyn. It's one of our favorites. This is what Ethiopian food is known for. Fun fact, this is all vegetarian. So Ethiopian food doesn't have meat. But that does not change the flavor. I'm telling you, the flavor here is insane. We have 27 things here. Most of the things that you see here are kind of like lentil based. Um, some are kale, some are like spinach, there's potatoes, there's all sorts of stewed vegetables. And you know when you cook things over time with the spices, it just develops the flavor a lot mm -hmm. more. They serve it with these little rolls and essentially it's like, watch this, ready? Are you ready for this? Whoa. It's like <laughs> it's just, a big pancake. It's, a, it's like a pancake. It's very but, stretchy. So you just so, rip it off and then you just kind of like yeah, you kinda go like, at it. This is what I do. I plop it on the thing and then yeah. you kind of go like this. And you use your two fingers and your thumb and you kind of scoop it up. And then yeah. you're good. And then you make like, like a little burrito. Once you get this, you're not going to need anything else. It's very filling. So you get some Ethiopian beer to wash it down. Hey, look at that. I'm here with Tina, an amazing content creator and seriously an influencer extraordinaire. Thank We're you. at one of your favorite restaurants. Yes. Tell me about it. We're at Sichuan Mountain House. This is in East Village in New York. Mm -hmm. And I would say it's one of the best Chinese restaurants in New York City, especially in Manhattan. Be warned, oh. if you like spicy, this is for you. But if you can't eat any spicy, then you might have to pick and choose carefully what you order. The best things to order here are the swing pork belly, Sichuan numbing chicken, and Zhang stew fish. It was absolutely delicious, packed with flavor, and complemented by the unique atmosphere that looked like a Chinese village. Trafe is the best deal for a gourmet meal on a budget in the city. Trafe specializes
choices in high-end American food with a focus on pork and shellfish. You'll get 11 dishes for only $55. The dishes are served tapa style and are the quality you'd expect in a Michelin-starred restaurant. I love everything from the pork to the ribs. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's savory. It falls off the bone. To the tartare and more. Add this to your New York bucket list. It is one of the best restaurants I've had in a very long time. Right now we are at Asteria 57. It's a very romantic atmosphere, so this is definitely a date spot. It's in the West Village. What I got here is the frita misto. This has calamari fish and shrimp. So flavorful, so delicious. One of the best calamaris I've ever had. We also got the roasted cauliflower here, which is beautifully presented. Honestly, it looks kind of like an art piece. And this is their ricotta toast. This is an off the menu order, but they have it every day. So make sure you get this when you get here. Wow, that is so creamy, so freaking good. I do wonder like, why don't they put this on the menu? This is their mezcal and pineapple drink. And just take a note at how much detail they put into just the presentation. And then you have this nice frothiness on the top, which was created by a uh, egg white. Really, really good. Love this mezcal cocktail. Definitely get it, definitely get it. Big fan. Cheers! Preserved in a former auto repair shop is the best barbecue spot in New York. And they are known for their smoked meat, craft beer, and the most extensive American whiskey list in all of New York. It smells amazing. Okay, what we get? We got rib, pulled pork, brisket, chicken wing, baked beans, collard greens, and of course, cornbread. They have a smoker that can smoke up to 500 pounds of meat at a time. When you walk in the door, it's like meat heaven. One of the things that they're known for is not really sticking to a specific type of barbecue. They're not necessarily Texas barbecue. They're not necessarily like New York barbecue, if that's even a thing. The flavors are unreal. And that's why this is the only spot Louie and I ever come for barbecue in the city, because it's just the best. Vinegar Hill House in Brooklyn is one of my all-time favorite, thanks to consistently excellent food and one of the best outdoor dining situations in the whole city. They serve new American food in a historic federal-style building, which adds to the unique atmosphere of the spot. I'm obsessed with their rotating menu of incredible pasta dishes and their most famous dish is the Red Waddle Country Pork Chop. It is cooked in their wood burning oven and is as juicy and tender as a piece of pork can get. I also love their cast iron chicken. Overall, this is a solid place for dinner. Next up, we'll get into fine dining, but first I want to give you a gift. It's my free neighborhood guides of New York City. There are absolutely no catches. They are completely free and will help you make the most of your time here. Click on the link in my video description to get them. Le Bernardin is a three Michelin starred restaurant that hasn't disappointed the world's best food critics in over 20 years. They're known for their seafood and vegetarian dishes. This restaurant is run by culinary legend Eric Rupert, and this kitchen always hits its marks. Don't miss their cocktails either. They're exceptional. This two Michelin starred restaurant is a must visit for a special occasion. Saga is the crown of 70 Pine Street, a landmark tower that rises over 60 stories. The space is unique and features an open an air balcony where an aperitif can be enjoyed alongside stunning views. Chef James Kent and his team present diners with compositions that embrace luxury and urbane inspiration. Caviar and foie gras are on tap, as is seafood with laksa sauce or a dry aged duck influenced by the chef's Moroccan background that comes complete with griddled flatbread, whipped yogurt flavored with preserved lemon and harissa. It is a one of a kind night out. Sushi Nakazawa is my favorite favorite sushi spot in the city, and it's no surprise it is excellent since it has a Michelin star. I recommend booking a seat at their 10 seat counter, though they do have a traditional dining room, but it won't be the same special experience. Here they serve flavorful and fatty cuts of fish at a more palatable price point compared to many of the city's other notable sushi counters. Enjoy a spectrum of sushi from Hokkaido cherry salmon and live Massachusetts sea scallop with citrus and salt, then move on to their outstanding uni, and finally, a hand roll of fatty tuna chops so finely it almost seems emulsified. This spot will make your taste buds want more. Hidden in the back of Brooklyn Fair, you'll find something very surprising. It is actually a three-star Michelin restaurant called Chef's Table. 
This spot is very challenging to get into and it is not cheap. But if you want the ultimate experience, definitely head there. And if you like fish or shellfish, that's really what they specialize in. The cuisine is inspired by Japanese cuisine with a French technique. And overall, it is absolutely amazing. So if you have that perfect date night, maybe you want to do a proposal, this is the spot for you. It is that special. But that's not all. You could also try the top 10 famous foods in New York. And this next video right here will show you exactly where to find them. Thank you.